What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dead Planet. Brendan here. Thanks for joining me once again. Another What's Sold on eBay video. Hey, if you're new, welcome. It's nice to see you. If you are old, you know I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys coming back week after week, video after video. Where are we at here? September 15th through the 21st. A big drop from last week. I'm getting kind of discouraged because I don't think I'm going to meet my goals. I know I keep talking about these goals, but they're important to set anyway. So doing 45 for a 90 day period, eh, I don't know, but 26, 66, almost 2,700 in sales, net sales 1,800. For me, this is pretty, eh, just, it's a little bit low. Um, it needs to be higher for sure. But as always, I pick 10 interesting things out of the week of sales that has passed and I offer them up to you, hoping that you will also find them in the stores. And we are all still outsourcing, correct? Even though we have things going on at home, and maybe the pandemic is kind of taking a turn. I don't really know. And hopefully your household is safe, happy, healthy, all that jazz. What do you say we get right into the listings here? We'll start with the first one, um, pet safe. So this was a radio, this is like an in-ground fence kit. What I did not include with this kit was the collar. I had no real way to test the collar, so I excluded it. And I don't want to get involved in a situation where maybe the thing works when it was, or doesn't work when it was supposed to work. I don't know. I could at least test by powering up and down the transmitter. And so uh, the transmitter worked fine. And uh, I included the original instructions, as you can see right there, and then a little bit of the uh, like wire fencing right there. So. Um, just a few real simple pictures. RF-1010 was the model number for this, and I got full price for it, $54.99, $9.70 in shipping. So the buyer is $64.69 all in. I paid $4.99. This was buried at a Goodwill underneath a bunch of other like sporting good equipment or whatever. So do the digging, do all of the necessary things that you need to in order to find the gold, because uh, this was a good find. So yeah, you can see right there on the th on the um, instruction manual, that's what the um, collar looked like, but I threw that away. So good sale, we on to the next one. You guys have heard me talk about Nike Shocks a lot. I am the Nike Shocks market because I wear them. And why I put this in here is, I know you if you've been following along long enough, you've seen me do Nike, I put Nike Shocks in there almost every time I sell them. But as a buyer, and I can confirm this, you can see this picture right here. There is wear at the heels. This is usually where the majority of the heel wear starts on a Nike Shock. It's those back pods right there. True buyers of Nike Shocks, people that want those shoes, they're in the market for them, they love that style. Somebody like myself, I'm okay with this and this buyer was also okay with that. So when you see it, don't pass it up in the stores. You can't just purchase a shoe that has wear if there's not a decent enough market for it, right? And they wouldn't be willing to overlook certain things like the heel wear on a Nike Shocks here. But as a buyer who is in this market, I can tell you that that's okay. So when you're sourcing Nike Shocks, keep that into consideration. The soles were in decent condition, a little bit of wear, a little bit of wear on the heels, and that was okay. I still got full price for these Nike Shocks. So $49.99 and uh, $10.90 in shipping. So $60.89 and I paid $4.29 for this pair of shoes at a Goodwill. So please remember that. Even with wear, look the Nikes up. Don't be afraid to buy them. Uh, look the Shocks up. Don't be afraid to purchase them because there are buyers that are still going to buy these shoes even with the wear. So that's it. I, I don't do a whole lot of clothing, okay? I still look, I still source clothing. It's usually on a day where the categories that I do the best in, I'm kind of flailing in from a sourcing perspective, right? If I'm not finding anything like the home wares or you know, this, that, and the other appliances, uh, cleaning supplies, all of that stuff, I will go to clothing. So I went there on a day, I was not uh, having a ton of luck sourcing and these jeans were in really good condition. Um, and that's really all I have for you. So I did the comps and I did the research. There's a little bit of a market for the Lucky Brand 367 Vintage. So I bought them and did all my measurements, blah, 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 32, 32. And I sold them for full price, $29.99. I'm extremely happy with that because I didn't have them that long. And I just, I don't, I'm, I'm 
it's not that I'm getting out of clothing. I just, you know, clothing in most markets is saturated. So um, I do well in other in other areas. But I was happy to sell these for full price, 30 bucks, 870 in shipping, 38.69 all in. I paid $4.99 for this pair of pants. This was not only a um, buyer's first purchase, but they had probably just signed up like five minutes before they made the purchase. So they were brand new to eBay the day they bought the jeans. And uh, yeah, I was their first feedback. So first purchase, full price, they paid. And it worked out great. Don't be afraid to sell those uh, those new sellers. So 367 Vintage or a Market 40, if you see it, might as well pick it up. Sold for me. So you got to start looking at Christmas items. But this guy, the Jingle Bell Rock Santa, like if you if you don't know how he works, you plug him in and it says Jingle Bell Rock and his hips start to sway. It's hilarious. I sell a ton of these. For the past two years, I've sold probably three, four, five, six every holiday season. This is the first one that I've sold if you want to like start the season now. It's the first one that I've sold. Um, I had it for a while so because I, I sourced it at the end of the season last year, but start picking up the Jingle Bell Rocks Santa. So uh, I wonder if I have a good picture of the buyer's picture of the box. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Hopefully you haven't passed passed him up right there. Jingle Bell Rock, item number 60755, if my picture is not covering it up for you folks. Um, and he's super cute, and it's an easy $30 bill every time you get it. I paid 5 bucks for him, and I sold him for 30 It was eleven fifty five in shipping, so forty one fifty four all in. I don't know if eBay is putting the tax that they pay, the buyers pay anymore. I didn't see it when I was writing these down. So anyway, I when I'm giving you the all-in number, it may or may not include the tax. Um, but yeah, so forty-one fifty-four all in, five dollars. You'll get them for three bucks, four bucks, five, even six dollars. And I think you can probably, depending on the condition, like how new or not new it is, you might even be able to ask for a little bit more. Like maybe go up to thirty-five. You'll see a lot of them listed right now but they sell through very, very quickly uh, leading up to the holidays. So please keep that in mind. This is a definite bolo. Look at how great he looks. Super clean. Um, yeah, don't pass that guy up because he's he's amazing looking. All right, Wearing Pro, Belgian waffle maker. This is the second one I've sold in the last uh, 12 calendar months. It's very, very light. I, I think I paid, what did I write down? I, I think I paid $8.99. This might even be one of, in one of my haul, previous haul videos. So if you see it, don't rake me over the coals if I get the price wrong. I think I paid nine dollars for it. Um and I sold it for full price. Hundred bucks, uh eighteen twenty in shipping. So they're one eighteen nineteen all in. Uh WMK three zero zero A. Again, these are very unassuming because they're very, very light. So they don't look or feel like an item that would be worth a hundred dollars, but it is an item that is worth one hundred dollars. So keep your eye out for this brand of um it's like a, it's like um, some of them will say restaurant style uh, Belgian waffle maker. I don't know if this one did. It just says uh, professional wa waffle maker. Yeah, there it is right there. Restaurant style. You can see it on the um, on that black plate though. Keep your eye out for them. Easy hundred bucks and they sell fast. So yeah, another uh, another solid bolo that I was happy with and I knew it when I saw it. So there you go. We're on the next one. All right. Yeah. Great. I mean, you know, people might just be ramping up right now because we're inching closer to the Christmas holiday. So Lamax Village Collection animated hockey game. This thing was brand new in an open box. And I don't recall if if there are comps on the on the screen or, or there if there were comps, I'll put them up on the screen for you. I don't remember if there were, but I knew that and again the niche for this is smaller because it's Christmas. So you the niche the 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 ideal buyer is person that likes to decorate for the holidays, but also a huge hockey fan, right? So that narrows the market considerably. Um, but I still got full price for it, 60 bucks, and they pay uh, $12.49 in shipping. So $72.48 all in. Again, this was another $4.99 purchase for me, just sitting there on the racks at a thrift store. And look at how lazy, what, what did I do here? These are the pictures I took. Here's picture number one. Picture number two, I mean, it was like still, everything was still in the plastic, so it was clear that it had never been on display. And picture number three of the uh, um, instructions. So yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, maybe that's me being lazy, but I didn't feel like taking it out, you know, run the risk of like ruining it and, and, and breaking it all down. Um, did I inspect this thoroughly 100%? No, because it was wrapped up. Um, but 60 bucks, they have it, they're happy with it. I'm happy with it, great return. 
great sale. Again, a smaller market, so keep that in mind. But Lamax, you know, most of them really, really well, and we're and we're ramping up. So in hockey, I, I think hockey is in season right now. I don't pay much attention to the NHL, but um, but yeah, that's that. We'll move on to the next one. Did you guys see this in one of my previous haul videos? Look at how adorable it is. Little balloon lamp. So Dolly Toy Company. I'm gonna show you a picture right here. I'll maximize that. Dolly Toy Company. Uh, Tip City, Ohio. This was model number 541. You can see that right there. Super cute lamp. Here it is lit up. Not the greatest pictures, but I mean, you can see that it clearly works. And um, yeah, he's a little like, it looks like a little uh, balloon vendor. See, little guy right there. He's got a little puppy dog next to him. No issues with it. No chips, cracks, none of the above. There is a market for it. There were comparable sales for sure. Is simply gorgeous and 100% functional is what I put, and that is correct. So um, the balloon, you see the balloon part right there where it says 10 cents? There's a little a light that goes there and then the light at the top. So they light up in two places. Very, very cute, and I got full price for it. 50 bucks, 14.84 in shipping, so 64.83 all in. I think I paid 5.99. You have to go back in the video to check. Like I said, I've like rushed through getting these together, so I, my prices might be a little bit off, but I mean, I didn't pay more than $10 for it. So um, let's call it six, and let's call it a wonderful return on my investment. So yeah, keep your eye out for this uh, these little lamps here, right here. Very, very cute. Dolly Toy Company, uh, that may or may not be a bolo just themselves. Uh, do your research, look for it. Maybe you'll find it too. Next one. All right, Arc Turks. I think that's how you pronounce it. For those of you that love this brand and you know better and I'm pronouncing it wrong, please forgive me. Um, a very unassuming $20 shirt right here. I paid $1.99 for it. That's what the t-shirts are this this particular store. Uh, there's nothing to it. It has the logo on the front and it has the logo on the back. That's it. You know, it was not in mint condition, but there is a definite market for Arc Turks t-shirts for sure. So when you see it, grab it almost no matter what it is, it's going to sell as long as it's got Arc, Tur Arc Turks on it or the logo of some sort. So, um, you see a picture of the, there's the stamp right there they don't do tags on this particular style you can even still see the pole from the from the little tag that i had to pull off from the thrift store but but anyway yeah twenty dollars and they pay 3.99 in shipping so 23.98 all in again a buck 99 20 dollars 15 dollars uh some of these shirts will go up to 25 30 bucks pre-owned look for this brand it is a definite bolo boyd's bears now when i was doing the research for this uh for this bear there were no comparable sales I and mean, i tell you like don't create the market like don't be the try to try to be the first one to make a sale 99 times out of 100 i don't do that okay and that has helped me greatly in, in this in this instance there were a couple of things that led me to make this purchase one uh this was new with tags two super super cute Three, there was an active listing for $40 brand new that hadn't sold yet. And so for me, having only paid 99 cents for this and it was brand new and I thought I could like really come in underneath this competitor, that's what I did. I priced mine for $19.99. It sold for full price, $19.99 and $7.50 shipping. So $27.49 all in again. I paid 99 cents. Now, do I play the race to the bottom? No. Do I undercut? the vast majority of all the other competitor, competitive sellers? Definitely not. But in this instance, with no real sales comp data to go off of, I had to pick what I thought was the right price for this based on previous sales, of which there were none. So 20 bucks was fair to me, it is gone. If the uh, comparable sale or the, uh, the comparable listing is still active, I'll put it up on the screen for you. But yeah, I'm out the door to the buyer if they were comparing or if they were looking for this and both listings came up mine was a no-brainer at twenty dollars less than the other one that has just that was just sitting right does that make sense so um i don't play the race of the bottom game all the time this instance here uh, i was happy with the decision i made so it's gone and we're on to the last one all right strawman brook strawman brook hamar so it's an accordion basket that folds out. For those of you that are into sewing, uh, you would recognize these things. It's just, just a gorgeous piece. I'll make the pictures a little bit larger. This had a couple of flaws, but I'll take you through some of the images. So you look at the top there. I don't know what that was because when you ran your hands across the top, it was still very smooth. It wasn't waxy and it didn't feel like they were there were divots in the wood. I don't know what that is or what that was. So I disclosed it 
And then uh, there you can see it, you know, totally, totally folded out there. Um, what's the one? The see, it was missing a little screw right there. That was the other flaw. Just disclose it, right? Because the buyer that makes the purchase isn't going to care, right? So never ever in a, this is like a beating a dead horse, never be afraid to disclose any and all flaws, right? Because your buyer, the absolute buyer you want, the best buyer, doesn't care about that stuff. So there's a picture of the bottom right there, Strom and Bruck, Bruck, I don't know. Anyway, made in, made in Norway. These are a definite bolo. When you see it, grab it. I only paid 10 bucks for it and it sold for $109.99 with $25.91 in shipping. So they're $135.90 all in. Gorgeous piece. 10 more bolos from the past week. You guys are amazing. Sub, if you're not subbed up yet, hit that subscribe button, please. Get me to five. We're going to get to 300, then 500, then 1,000 eventually, and we'll grow from there. Um, I appreciate you. If you like the video, hit that like button for sure. Get into those comments and uh, let me know your thoughts and how you're doing and all that jazz. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.